When I was young, I hated school. I mean, I hated school for real. I hated school with a passion. My dad, his highest grade he ever completed was the ninth grade. My mom, the highest grade she ever completed was the sixth grade. So when they used to help me with the homework, you know, and this is like in another country they, they went to school, right? So, you know, I'm in the Bronx in New York City, St. Mary's Projects, PS5. And he's telling me with this homework, it would be wrong. So when I go to class, the teachers would embarrass me in front of all the students and ridicule me for having my homework wrong. Like I couldn't get it right, like something was wrong with me or something. I mean, after that, I remember they used to, I mean, they threw me in special ed classes, ESL classes, resource classrooms. And I remember the kids used to just make fun of me, you know, because, you know, those was a class for the slow kids. And, and Negro Feo, Negro Feo, with the slow kids, well, they didn't really call me, so they called me retard, actually. That's the retard class. I was just trying to be politically correct. But I might as well just tell you exactly what they called it. So yeah, I mean, they called me retard because you know, I was in the slow class. And I was an oddball. I didn't fit in with nobody, not the black kids, not the Puerto Ricans, not the Latinos, nothing. I was just the ugly duckling. I was the oddball out. Like, at lunchtime, you know, when it was time to eat, you know, you go get your tray and then the the server puts food on your tray and, you know, as soon as the food would hit my tray, the kid would come either behind me or right next to me and take the milk carton, like my milk, and just open it up and then pour all the milk on all my food. Or they'll knock it off my, my hand and they'll be laughing at me, you know, El Negro Feo, Negro Feo. And, um, yeah, like, I would go like the whole day just not eating, like hungry. I wouldn't tell my moms, I wouldn't tell the teachers, I just like, just kept it to myself. Now when I work with students, you know, like, I can see the same fears, embarrassment, and alienation in their face, like, I can see it in their eyes, like, I'm like, yo, you know, because there was people, you know, that believed in me, that allowed me to go forward. Now I'm an MFA graduate, you know, I published several books, I mean, I traveled the country, and, um, uh, I just want to say thank you. Because of you, I love education, man. Like, I mean, thank you. Thank you very much.